Yeah, good morning, guys. Uh, the film uh, that we're talking about is called Diverted, Indigenous Stewardship and Saving the Great Salt Lake. And, you know, those involved with the project admit, look, this is a pretty heavy-duty topic for a student film. Uh, but these young people who are involved also say, uh, based on what they're seeing and hearing and learning about, that native voices absolutely need to be heard in any effort to save this critical body of water that their ancestors have been living by and living with for more than 10,000 years. Billy Butts is a college film student with seemingly his whole life in front of him. But he realizes that future here in Utah could be in jeopardy if drastic measures aren't taken to save Great Salt Lake. It's dire straits now, and we have to do something in order to make it work. Colby says the voices of indigenous people in particular need to be involved in any plan to save the lake. And it's why he and his team chose it as a topic for his student film. And this is a route that hasn't been thought of, hasn't been at the forefront. Because without the lake, the air is not safe to breathe. And without water, we can't live. So I think indigenous stewardship and indigenous sovereignty is the morally correct thing to do. They're receiving assistance, encouragement, and guidance from many indigenous people including SLCC Native Outreach Coordinator, Valeen Paratrovich. You don't bend nature, you work with nature. Growing up in Alaska, Val's indigenous ancestry comes from three separate tribes. She's since lived in different parts of the Western U.S. before settling in Utah, and says she's watched the intersection of environmental and Indian law be utilized in other environmental issues. So to see this and see how it's been successfully carried out in other parts of the United States and globally, where indigenous nations have successfully restored natural resources, it gives a sense of hope. And I feel like that's what sets our documentary apart. The team is now preparing to share their work during a special on-campus screening. It's butterflies almost, um, but I'm excited for it to be partially done. The plan is to continue or try to continue afterwards and get more people, be, expand it. But having it at least a completed vision would be is a very a calming thought. And Diverted will be one of two student produced and directed films that will premiere a week from Friday, December 8th, right here at the Salt Lake Community College South City campus and that's going to happen at 6 p.m. that evening. We'll have more on that other film coming up next week. For now we're live in Salt Lake City. Scott McCain, Fox 13 News, Utah.